If you're watching this video, the chances you're curious about how much a chauffeur makes. It's a question that I often ask and for good reason. As someone with a lot of experience in the game, I can tell you that the answer it's not straightforward. In fact, it depends on several factors that can greatly impact chauffeur's earnings. So if you're interested in learning more about um, these factors that dictate how much a chauffeur makes, keep watching. My name is Radko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel, I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. First of all, the type of chauffeur position you have can very much affect your earnings. For example, if you're a chauffeur to a private individual, you may earn more than if you're a chauffeur for an established limousine company. Secondly, your location can also impact how much you can earn as a chauffeur. If you're working in a major city uh, with a lot of high-end clients, you will likely and more than if you're working in a smaller town with a few opportunities. Another factor to consider is your level of experience. So if you're just starting out as a chauffeur, you may earn closer to the lower end of the salary range, but as you gain more experience and establish yourself in, in the industry, you can earn higher salary. Working for a private individual can definitely increase your earnings. So this is because um, the private individuals have often higher, let's say, net worth or are willing to pay uh, a premium for the convenience and luxury of having their own personal driver. So you could be a private household chauffeur, which duties may include driving your employer to various appointments, running errands, and even traveling with them sometimes. Working for a private individual can also come with other benefits, such as more flexible working hours and possible greater level of job security. Now, on the other side, working for an established limousine company may not pay as well as working for a private individual, but can still provide a steady income. So as a chauffeur for a limousine company, your main responsibility would be to transport clients to and from their desired locations, such as airports, hotels, or events. Working for a limousine company can still offer uh, huge benefits as, uh, such as consistent work and the chance to work with a variety of clients. It's very important to note that some chauffeur jobs may actually be a contractor positions. Contractor simply means uh, pretty much executing work for someone else. As a contractor chauffeur, you are essentially working for, for yourself uh, and the limousine company is simply providing you with some job opportunities. However, the downside of this arrangement is the limousine company will typically charge you a commission of your earnings since uh, they are basically acting as a middleman. It's important carefully to read and understand any contracts or agreements before accepting any contractor position to ensure you're fully aware of any commission fees or other terms and conditions. The type of chauffeur job you have can also impact the level of professionalism and discretion required. As a private household chauffeur, you may be expected to maintain a higher level of confidentiality and privacy for your employer. On the other hand, as a chauffeur for a limousine company, you may need to maintain a high level of customer service skills and professionalism to ensure customer satisfaction. When it comes to working as a chauffeur for private individuals or limousine companies, there are typically two ways of making money. So the first is simple transfer service where you're only responsible for the picking up and dropping off clients at their desired location. An airport transfer is a classical example of this. This type of service normally comes with a fixed rate, which may vary depending on the distance traveled or of the day. The second type of work is known as uh, hourly hire or as directed in Australia or simply having a vehicle on standby in some other places. So this is when a client hires you and 
your vehicle for a set number of um, hours during which time you are at day disposal or, or, or various reasons such as attending multiple events or running errands. It depends on day requirement. In this case, an hourly rate is charged, which can be more profitable for the for the chauffeur. As a contractor chauffeur, you may have the opportunity to take on both types of work. However, the hourly hire or as directed uh, job can be more profitable as long as you have that consistent workflow. Let's say, for example, if you did 10 hours as directed shift working as a contractor again here in Sydney you should end up anywhere between 70 to 80 Australian dollars per hour in your own pocket at the time of filming this video for providing services in a very simple and of course presentable corporate vehicle in order to make that same amount of money through a simple transfers you would have to complete at least seven eight nine or even ten transfers a day at the minimum distance fee which can be more difficult to achieve it's possible but it's more difficult than that's all I'm saying. And remember for driving your own vehicle, if you're driving for salary or someone else's car, your earnings will be very likely around 50% less. Show for life. As a chauffeur, you will have a big chance to earn tips and also bonuses in the in addition to your base pay. So tips are common practice in the in the service industry and some clients may choose to tip you just for providing uh, exceptional service. The amount of tips you can receive can vary depending on the client and the service provided and also other factors too. In addition to the tips, some limousine companies may offer bonuses for meeting certain performance targets or simply providing um, outstanding service service uh, to clients. So these bonuses can add up and increase your overall earnings as a, as a contractor chauffeur. It's important to remember that these tips and bonuses are not guaranteed and should not be relied upon as a primarily source of income. They should be viewed as a supplement to your base pay and treated as a benefit. So combining both types of private individual and chauffeur work as a, as a contractor simply transfers uh, and hourly hires plus your tips can be a great way to maximize your earnings. So by offering both options to your clients, you can cater to their specific needs and increase your chances of getting hired. This can definitely lead to more consistent work and, and higher income overall. Keep in mind that building a reputation as a reliable and professional chauffeur is the key. I can't stress this enough, is the key to attracting and, and, and retaining new clients, no matter what type of work you do. Chauffeur life. And just a little disclaimer, some of the earnings that I've mentioned are provided as a reference and may not reflect the exact amount you earn as a, as a contractor chauffeur. Again, the actual earnings can vary and depending on various factors such as your experience, type of your employer, job responsibilities and the market demand for your chauffeur services. Therefore, it's essential to do your own research and calculations to decide your potential earnings as a chauffeur. Chauffeur life. Depending on your personal uh, financial goals and circumstances, you can use the information provided about chauffeur earnings to decide what target earnings you should be doing daily, weekly or annually. So if you're just starting out as a chauffeur, it may be more realistic to set lower target income and work your way up as uh, you gain more experience and build your reputation in the industry. On the other hand, if um, you're seasoned a chauffeur with a lot of experience and a solid client base, you may be able to set higher earnings and target for yourself. Also keep in mind that chauffeur work can be so unpredictable at times with weeks uh, being busier than others. This means it's a good idea to have a flexible target earnings goal and to be prepared and adjusted uh, based on your actual earnings. Chauffeur life. So there you have it folks, uh, I hope this video provided you with some valuable insights into the world of uh, chauffeur earnings. Remember, the amount you can earn as a chauffeur really depends on variety of factors such as type of your job experience and the type of clients you serve. But by combining different, different types of work and setting realistic goals, you can make a good income as a chauffeur. If you have any questions, feel free to drop uh, me a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.